Schmidt, bringing you more practical tips to overcome the most common strategic planning mistakes. For over three decades, I've helped clients worldwide to become more effective by being better at how they think, plan, and act. Today's topic is sloppy analysis. Planning requires collecting and analyzing information of all types. But often, the process of turning that information into valid and actionable recommendations gets very sloppy. Let me share the story of a European shoe company that in the 1940s sent its two best salesmen to explore sales potential in the tribal regions of Africa. The two salesmen traveled separately to two different African countries to gather data and report back on what they discovered. Now this happened long before the advent of cell phones and the World Wide Web. In those days, communication was very limited, especially in underdeveloped areas, and the most reliable method was by telegram. After a week in Africa, both sent telegrams back to their home office. The first salesman reported back, no one here wears shoes, there is zero sales potential, it's a waste of time to do business here. But the second salesman reported, no one here wears shoes. There is unlimited sales potential. Let's do business here immediately. Very different conclusions and recommendations. To understand the difference, let me share a lesson I learned as a young management consultant from Leon Rosenberg, my mentor and president of PCI. After I wrote a draft report with some recommendations for a client project, Leon sent it back to me with a note saying, rewrite this. You didn't distinguish between findings, conclusions, and recommendations. Here's what each one means, and it has implications for your strategic plan. You'll want to make sure you distinguish among the facts, the findings. These should be indisputable and the basis of all the analysis. From findings, you can derive conclusions. That's the interpretation of facts. Now there's room for different conclusions based on the same facts because here we insert our values, our thinking style, and our different mental models. Finally, from conclusions flow recommendations, suggested actions, strategies, and initiatives. Now in our shoe story, the findings, the facts, were the same in each country. No one wore shoes. But each salesman formed different conclusions and made very opposite re recommendations. Now, how does this apply to planning? Before you leap to conclusions, make sure that everyone agrees on the essential facts involved. And then make sure your conclusions follow from a sound analysis of those facts. Finally, come up with recommendations based on your conclusions. If you're explicit at each stage of the process, you'll end up with the best answers. Now, if you enjoyed this video, check out others in the series. To get the whole set, contact me at terry at managementpro.com. Meanwhile, think big, plan smart, and act fast to get great results.